Hey guys, welcome back in this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install applications on CacheOS. I'm going to show you both the GUI method and the terminal method so that you are aware of both methods. If you have followed the last video about this series, we have installed a software called Bau. And so I'm going to open this software again because we can use this software to install applications and to also update the system. In the last video, we have updated the system with this software, but you can also use this software to install applications. So for example, if I want to install Steam, let's say I'm a very, very common application on Linux, we search for Steam inside of Bao, and here we have Steam. Now, why do we have two different Steam entries? It's because one is from the official CacheOS repositories, and you can distinguish it by this symbol right here, and also by Multilib. If it says Multilib with this check, with this green arrow check, and it has this green arch icon, then it's from the official CacheOS repositories. Also, if you hover over the icon, it's going to tell you that it's from the arch repository. And also we have this Steam from Flatab, and you will understand that it is a Flatpak application because it says Flatab. And the Flatab, if you don't know what it is, it's a website and it's also a repository where most of the Flatpak applications are stored. When it comes to Steam, I suggest you to always go with the one from the official repositories. So to install it, we click on install right here and we click on yes. If it asks you for your password, we have to put it. So we click on continue and then you click on continue and it's going to install Steam. And with this method, you can install any other application that is available on Linux, basically, except the ones that are not like in the repositories of either Flatab or Arch. But most 99% of Linux applications are in the repositories of Arch or Flatab. And what if I want to install OBS Studio, for example, if I want to record something? Then same method, we search for OBS here and OBS Studio is this one. This is the one from Flatab. OBS Studio on Linux officially supports the Flatpak version, so it's the recommended one to install. So in this case, when it comes to OBS Studio, we can just install the one from Flatab. You just click on install, you click on yes, and here it is asking you if you want to install OBS Studio for all the users on your operating system. And if you want that, you click on yes. If you want, if you don't want that, you click on no. I don't care, so I'm gonna click on yes. And then you just wait until it finishes installing. And yes, this is extremely extremely simple guys you can also show some details if you really want to look into what it's doing right now it's going to show you a little terminal here that you cannot interact with so you cannot break anything really and yeah you just wait until it finishes installing and so now i'm going to show you the other method which is from the terminal and as always we have to open the terminal and then if you want to install an application from the official repositories of arch linux and cache us you have to type this command sudo pacman minus s space and you type the name of the package so if i want to install occt for example just type occt it's going to ask me for the password and here we can say yes or no it's just a confirmation so of course i want to install the application so i type y which stands for yes and it's going to install the application and so it just finished installing it using the terminal is not that hard you should not be scared of it now if you want to not use it i already gave you the solution you can just use bow and you're going to have a graphical user interface method of installing applications updating the system and the cool thing about linux is that once you update the operating system it also updates all the applications inside the operating system you update once and it has updated everything so that's extremely good it's, it's one of the advantages of linux really and that's the last thing i want to mention in this video is that if you want to install some flatback applications from the terminal and not from bow you have to open flatab and and find the application that you want. So for example, I want to install Sober, which is our Roblox basically. And we're not going to click on install, but we're going to click on the arrow right here. And then we click on, uh, we copy this command right here by clicking on this thing. And then we paste it into the terminal. It's extremely easy. And then we just ask you for confirmation. So I'm gonna type yes, yes again, and it's installing. That's it, that's all you have to do. So this is it for this video. This is how you install applications on CacheOS, both from the GUI method and from the terminal way. And so if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot. If you are a Linux beginner and you have followed my series on CacheOS, then you already know everything you need to know to start using Linux properly and to have a good experience with it. So that said, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.